Hey everyone, um, I hope you're, you're all having a nice day and today I want to talk a bit about a controversial topic which is AI art. I'll be talking from the point of view of a full-time professional artist working mostly on illustrations and concept art as well as some basic graphic design. However, I'm also very tech passionate and I love all stuff uh, relative to data and so on. And I've also used Mid Journey, for example, extensively to get a good look at what it can really do and form an opinion on my own. So first of all, I want to start by saying that I don't believe AI will steal a lot of artists' jobs. There's a lot of bad things I think about it, but that's not part of them. From all the testing I did and every image I've seen coming out of an AI program, no matter how visually impressive they are, they can never uh, be what I had in my head. I think that for that reason alone, it can't compete for client work because you can't do specific stuff. It's very good at pumping out impressive imagery, but that's about it. Let's say you draw, for example, a picture of a full background of a city and your client asks you, for example, to move one car in it. If you drew it on a separate layer, it's just a matter of seconds. But in this case, AI will redraw the car and it will never be 100% the same as before, because it will also re-render and redraw the whole image. So if your client wanted everything the same except the car changed, well, that's that's gone because you AI will redo everything and you you will be better served by just moving the car by yourself. Um, this is just one example, but while working for clients, I always imagine what if I had generated this image with AI, how would I go about what my client asks? And every time, I would conclude it would be way easier to just do it myself. AI would redo the entire image, and since you work on it with your client, everything he was happy with will be changed a bit. If he, even if you ask the program to modify only one part, or use the same prompts or the same seed, whatever. Which is why I think because AI can only generate images in one layer, it's really unsuitable for client work. One day it could be used uh, maybe to create elements that you then include and composite into an image, like for example if you're photo bashing, and uh, treat the AI generated image like uh, any picture you would use that you would just grab from the internet. That way you could, for example, generate quickly different landscapes, different trees, architectural elements, maybe blur them out and add them behind your characters in foreground, or just paint over them. And this would quickly give different looks to an image you already created. I think about this the same way as photo bashing, where you take a photograph directly and use it into a painting by modifying it partially. Just this way you have access to more images and not just um, real-life photographs, but also just newly generated images, but you will have to go and paint by yourself above it or modify them in some way to make it suit your entire composition. That would be one way it, it could be pretty good, I think. Another point is that I think AI-generated images are really recognizable Maybe not by the general public, but I think any artist that uh, used one of these programs will quickly recognize how the AI generates certain details no matter what style it uses. There is always some areas where details are mushed together, and once you look closely, you can really see these weird artifacts. Because there are really no details, it's just an amalgam of shapes and colors, and once you zoom in and really uh, dig into it, it I don't know, it, it's really weird. I don't know how much this will affect the future, future of AI images, but right now I think in the long term, all these images will become pretty average because of how the abundance of similar images and lose their value as uh, the only nice visuals, because that, that's really the only value I, I can see in them right now. Basically, I think these AIs are not trained on all images on the internet containing certain words, but are, are very specifically targeting very good artists, 
because if it was otherwise, the image's output would be of much lower quality, just because the average image on the internet is not good quality, because, well, most artists are, are just beginning, like us. There's not a lot of really good and top-tier artists, and that's just how it is in every field. The really high professionals are few in number, and there is so much more images output by people just trying to get better. But really, AI doesn't seem to just take these images into account and only target the very top few. If the AI took every result in a weighted average, the, I don't know, the images would be much more basic. But that's, that does not seem to be the case, as most of the generated images with similar prompts looks like they could all come from one artist, and not multiple artists drawing in the same style but all having their distinctive artistic touch. I mean, you can see this if you just search for uh, any AI video on YouTube using Midjourney or a stable diffusion or otherwise. All these thumbnails will have images, I don't know, you, you can recognize them immediately, I think. It just screams AI generated because it's really cool from afar, real impressive, but that's just it. There's nothing more to it. Uh, the painting style looks always the same. It, it just seems like it's used to impress um, the general public that doesn't know about it with its rendering quality, but there is no substance. I, I think that's the best way I can put it. This leads me to another point where I think the general public will start seeing more and more of these AI-generated images without really knowing what's behind, and this will set a new standard for artists. Just like right now, when I see a lot of people not knowing of what um, digital art is, think the computer does it all for you? Well, now that the computer really will do it all for you, it will set up a new standards, and in terms of quality, anything less than what could AI produce might seem mediocre uh, in between. This worries me because, well, as an artist, we already compare ourselves to the best in the field, and it can feel pretty overwhelming. But now we will have to compete against computers that mimic only these high-level artists, so that doesn't feel very good, I must say. If I try to stay positive though, I think maybe this might shift a bit what makes a great art piece. If the quality of the rendering becomes more standardized, then stuff like composition, character pose and expressions might become more important. Well, at least to the general public. I've realized that AI art really struggles with anything related to expressing emotions on characters. Anything it does looks worse than the most generic and cheap factory-made manga with poor drawing skills, but where everything is focused on just drawing faces with big emotions. Even that low bar is still too high for AI, it seems, and it truly shows that the work it produces lacks the human heart or soul, whatever you want to call it, and no matter how high the quality of the rendering. It might seem like I'm bitter and making some excuse as to why I'm not as good and certainly not as quick as AI, but I really didn't even like one image out of the AI that I was happy with. Sure, the results were all technically very impressive, but when I have an image in my head, I could never even get close to it with an AI-generated one. I always was left with the feeling of, yeah, that's nice, but it's not what I want. And this, I think, might be the same if you're working with clients. Most likely, they will have something specific they want you to draw, paint, create, design, whatever. And your role as the commissioned artist is just as much to render it as to visualize what they're imagining. AI won't do that, even with the best prompts. That's why right now, no matter how good the rendering of AI becomes, I have a hard time imagining it um, be used in a professional environment. I've work, uh, worked with comic books artists, film directors, photographer, 3D artists, and all, all of them always paid the utmost attention to details. Like for example, is the shadow on the face of this portrait okay? If not, we will slightly change the angle of the light on the model. Is the composition perfect, with all lines leading exactly where we want? 
If not, we move certain elements. Um, is the layout of the panels providing the best reading experience? If not, how you, can you adjust it? And I could go on and on with examples of perfectionism. And in, in none of my testing nor videos of people who understand prompting to an AI, have I seen even the slightest bit of this perfectionism with AI art. To my eye, these images are only as good as a base image, such as a sketch act for the painting waiting to be done above it. Well, anyway, that's I, I think I made my point out of it on this, so I'll transition to what really seems to pose a problem, legally and ethically. These AIs are trained on images created by artists and really uncaring about whether they have a copyright or not. While the AI itself doesn't use these for commercial purposes, the loophole here is that it enables anyone using it to sell the images that they created about it. Um, and tons of videos pop up on YouTube about like how to get rich using AI free of copyright, free software, whatever. Just use AI, put out a shitty design, put it on a t-shirt, sell it, become a millionaire because somehow everybody will want to buy it. Well, I don't see any problem with training the AI on tons of images. When you sell its work, it becomes more problematic because even more so when the AI is used to emulate one particular uh, particular style of one specific artist. I'm not going to talk about the law here because it varies depending on the countries and the internet being international makes it really hard to respect anything. For example, if uh, a person in China saved JPEGs of your work and uh, is selling them as prints on a Chinese website or somewhere over, the, over there, well, I, I'll just say good luck if you want to shut this down. I don't really know if you can. When AI is used to emulate one person, I kind of see it the same way. I just really, it really feels like producing or selling fake paintings. It's just riding on the popularity of another artist and ignoring all the hard work it took for that person to get to this point. I can't see it in any other way than that just being theft, like theft of identity, the worst of all. That's why this question is so hard for me to have an educated opinion on. I've heard how the companies behind AI programs basically get a get out of jail free card when it comes to copyright because they operate as research companies not selling anything from their program but then the users of the program also get free reign. It's troublesome because when we see these programs that can only exist because artists are there to serve as a trading database, then used to compete against said people, sometimes even directly on an individual level. I've heard about multiple solutions, but the only maybe realistic one to me would be that this program would only include in their database copyright-free images or maybe images for which the appropriate rights have been bought, just like stock images for sale. But then I guess the AI would uh, suddenly become trash really fast compared to their current level. And I, no, I really don't know how this is all going to turn out. But no matter how the fu future goes, I'm pretty sure they are here to stay. So in the meantime, I guess it's time for artists uh, in the professional field to change a bit for their tra trajectory. If you're just doing art as a hobby for yourself, I don't think you should even care or try to compete with these. Just continue to appreciate art the way you do, and that's really great. What you could do in the meantime to avoid getting replaced by AI is to make what you specialize in more along the creative process and maybe not so much the repeatable basic task. For example, if your main task in your creative job is designing a bunch of basic 2D video game assets, such as landscapes, background elements, trees, rocks, then there is a good chance AI will be able to do these tasks quicker than you and produce a lot more different iterations. Maybe for tasks such as spinning out a lot of really quick concepts on something new, AI also could compete with you. However, the moment you need to realize a specific vision, be it yours or someone else's like a client or art director, then that is not something AI will, AI will be able to replace you with. Let's say you drew a nice character in a fantasy universe, 
with some clothes or armor you created yourself, and the art director want to see detailed shots of this armor from other points of views, that's the kind of specific task only you can do, because you have this armor designed in your head. You can turn it around, keep it consistent between views, and really make different images of something that looks like one object. Whereas the AI will always remake the image with their variations, even if you re reuse your prompts, your pre pre model. Well, anyway, these are just examples, but my point is AI could be nice if it was in implemented in a maybe a more fair way, which I doubt will happen. Apparently in the music industry it exists but can't infringe copyrights, I'm not sure about it, but that's probably because the music industry and large producers have the amount of money needed to make this happen. I'm not sure if this is true uh, for our part of art. Maybe if giants like Adobe took firm stances against AI, who knows. In the meantime, I think AI will be there to stay and uh, we will have to deal with it. But don't get discouraged. I encourage you all to keep drawing and painting, of course never at the expense of your livelihood. But I think it's important to keep this part of humanity alive, especially in the world where we are headed. So I'll see you in the next video, and in the meantime, keep creating everyone, love you all.